Hey, what's up you guys? I'm Tatiana, this is my curly haired tarantula, Shelly, and you're watching My Tiny Zoo. In today's video, we'll be going over the care of the T. albopelosus and everything you need to know before getting one. The curly hair is an amazing tarantula species and it is a first spider for a lot of new keepers because of its wonderful and docile temperament. Plus, look at how fuzzy wuzzy they are. She looks like a little teddy bear. So, is this a good tarantula for beginners? Continue watching and you'll find out. T. albos are New World terrestrial tarantulas that are endemic to Costa Rica, Honduras, and Nicaragua. Like most tarantulas, females live significantly longer than males, clocking in at over 20 years with the proper care, and males live on average 4 to 5 years. Adults of this species can reach a leg span of 5 to 6 inches, and their most notable trait are the long hairs that cover most of their bodies. This tarantula has been popular in the pet trade since the 1980s and used to be imported in mass. In fact, imports of this species became so widespread that it was added to the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species list, an organization that controls which animals can and cannot be taken from the wild. Since being added to this list, virtually any curly hair you buy nowadays is going to be produced in captivity, provided that you do research on reputable breeders, of course. In their native environments, this species inhabits forest edges and scrublands, and can be found in self-made burrows. Due to its excavating nature, this species is what is known as an obligate burrower, meaning they require deep substrate that encourages this natural behavior. I provide my adult tarantula with 5 or more inches of substrate mix, which includes eco-earth, topsoil, and sphagnum moss. Even slings of this species should be provided with a deep substrate layer, as they will often choose to burrow rather than use a provided hide. You can start your sling off in a small AMAC box or pill bottle, and increase their enclosure size as they get through more molts. Adults can be kept in critter keepers or 5 gallon tanks. The substrate should be misted occasionally to keep their humidity around 60%. Overfilling their water dish and letting it seep into the substrate should work as well. Since I don't have a water dish, every week I wet one corner of her enclosure and allow the water to seep down. This allows Shelly to self-regulate and burrow down to the damper soil if she needs more humidity. This species does not have any special requirements for temperature and they do fine as long as your house doesn't drop below 68 degrees. As you can see, my enclosure has deep substrate and an optional hide for Shelly to use. She was eager to make herself a burrow and now spends most of her time down there. You can add things like live or fake plants and leaf litter to your enclosure if you want a more naturalistic look. As far as feeding goes, I bought Shelly when she was an adult, so the entire time I've owned her, she has readily eaten crickets, dubia roaches, superworms, and hornworms. But if you have a sling of this species, tiny crickets or pre-killed mealworms should do the trick. Shelly rarely refuses food, and I feed her every two weeks to once a month depending on the size of her meal. New World tarantulas have a mild venom that is not medically significant. However, as you can see by their fuzzy exterior, this species has urticating hairs that they kick when they feel threatened. These hairs can cause skin irritation, itchiness, and difficulty breathing. The curly hair tarantula is a very calm and slow-moving spider, so it rarely threat poses or kicks hairs. But there are exceptions to every rule, so proceed with caution if you are handling or moving your pets. The T. elbow grew in popularity in the 80s for good reason, and has remained a staple in the hobby ever since. This tarantula makes a very cute display animal, and the fuzzy hairs on their legs might even convert tarantula haters into tarantula tolerators. They are calm, slow-moving animals that have amazing temperament, and they're great eaters. This was the first tarantula species I owned, and it got me hooked on keeping invertebrates and I don't think a tarantula collection is complete without one. Another bonus to this species is their low price tag. They are very affordable and can be found in most pet stores, online breeders, and reptile or invert expos. So the next time you see one, definitely consider investing in this awesome animal. Well, that's all Shelly and I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this quick care guide for one of my favorite tarantula species. If you did, be sure to like this video and leave a comment down below about your favorite tarantula species. I might just make a video about it.